If you set the auto scroll level to slow and put an item on tracks, then that item on tracks will slowly creep up on the player. We are using a bullet blaster right now, so this big wall is slowly approaching the player character. Some uses for this are a speedrun, where the further along the level you are, the less room you have to maneuver. But if you want to slow down the cannon, all you have to do is make a pattern like this. This slows down the cannon by making it travel more, so thus it falls behind. But bullet blasters on tracks have more to offer. This is a sort of hole in the wall scenario where you have to avoid getting hurt. So I have two pretty cool ideas, but which one do I put into a proof of concept level? And then it hit me. Why don't I just do both of them? So the first part of the level is going to use the cannon that slowly creeps up the screen, encroaching on the player. And the second part of the level will be using this sort of hole-in-the-wall style of mechanic. So while making this level, something came up. Normally with these kinds of levels, you just put the mechanic in a vague situation and say, this is an example, if you were to use this in a real level, you would obviously do it better than this. But with the slowly encroaching cannon, it's hard to just do that. You have to put it into a scenario where it feels normal. So if you just put it in a blank room, then that's not gonna feel right because that's not showing off the mechanic. That's just a cannon blaster connected to tracks. <laughs> that, that's nothing special. That's just... It, it doesn't show off the mechanics. So in the first half, I basically made a normal level, but then that kind of makes the second half, which is more like a normal proof of concept level, look bad by com by comparison. That's that's what happened, but I, I think it still worked out fine. It was all good. All right, as I said before, the first part of the level is all about the one cannon that slowly moves ahead as the player moves ahead. So, yeah, in this in this uh, room, you have to collect all the red coins, and there there's a little indicator there. And what you're gonna gonna notice right up there is that lava bubble, and you. And when you go up here, it's like the lava bubble is chasing you. So it's just a fun moment. I, I, I really like that. That's, that's a nice moment. So another fireball right there. And we're almost at the end of this auto scroll section. We have another lava bubble indicator, but always put indicators in there. Also, don't run into that on your way to the door once you have that last red coin and now we are at the checkpoint area this is halfway through there are lava bubbles under there they're just for decoration let's go into the place with the hole in the wall things so again this is what you have that's what you saw earlier we go up here and look at this it's just it's fun to bob and weave through all of these and this thing right here this is what would happen if you use this more as like an inconvenience like you could put that in a speed run and that would and that would work well so this is the grand finale of the hole in the wall idea you go in here oh i <laughs> well it's not a proven concept level if i don't die to it go past this first one over this hop on the islands and we are back to the la to the finale so we we'll just go on here this is a tr that's a tricky section and i did put some solo cannons in there to make things a little bit more spicy just a little more entertaining and again a last cannon here for the it's not really a flag ball. I don't even know what you would call this. Just the end. The end goal. And there we go.